really got a lot of advanced information about how we don't discuss the marketing business at these events, right? And that's an important discipline. Even though it's just us, between just us, I want you to have that discipline so that when you're doing other things in the travel industry, it, it's become habit for you. So that you're not walking up to Carnival Cruise Lines and talking to them about your aspirations to be a director, right? <laughs> or to build your team, or your marketing, your organization. They, they don't know what any of that means, and they don't want to know. They don't care because it's not about selling their product. That's all they want to know. They want to know that you, as a travel agent, are focused on selling their product. Right? So it's really important we keep these two ideas separate, these two businesses separate. There's nothing negative or derogatory about that. It is, well, let me say it this way. There are other companies who've tried to do what IntelliTravel has done and what Planet has done, and they're not around anymore, or they're suffering. One of the reasons why is because they never got this part right. Okay, But we get it right, all right? Okay, uh, the first thing I want to do is congratulate you for being here today because as my dear friend Brian Tracy, anybody know Brian Tracy, a motivational speaker and author, he's a lovely man, one of the original founders of IntelliTravel also, and he helped author a lot of our training material, but he taught me something a long time ago, education is an investment in yourself, Brian would say. So. He would congratulate you, and I'm here to congratulate you for taking that initiative, taking that step to invest in yourself by getting educated. I want us to have goals, because a plan without goals is what? A wish, right? And we're not building this on wishes. This is a business, and we are uh, partnering together, and we're going to have some goals for the day today so that when you leave here, you've accomplished something important. First of all, today is about starting off right. If you're a new agent, when most of you are, most everybody, although I've already met some very experienced agents, travel agents, here in the UK, who've had decades of experience, and now they recognize the opportunity that IntelliTravel is bringing, and they've joined the team. Where's Shirley? There's Shirley over there with experience in corporate travel and very high-end travel for government figures and some royal family members. And Shirley took a look at this opportunity and thought, it's real, right? Shirley, something real for you. And Rachel, I spoke to before, where's Rachel? Is she here? No? Maybe outside. Um, there are a couple of uh, agents who've got a lot of knowledge in the travel industry who recognize what we're here offering. So I encourage you to find some of them and speak to them a little bit. But for those people, this is an opportunity to check yourself. Make sure you haven't uh, missed anything along the way in your development. Make sure you, you don't have any uh, bad habits that some other place taught you. Uh, uh, so there's something for everybody today. We're also, we're not just going to do basics. We're going to take some time today to show you some advanced strategies for success as a travel agent. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I didn't want you to leave here with just the basics. We want you to leave our live Dreammaker event with um, some secrets that uh, other travel agents don't get the opportunity to learn. So we're giving you the benefit of our experience because we've been doing this for how long? 25, 25 years, that's right. I was three when we started. Um, <laughs> Uh, we're also going to get you a little product knowledge. Now, normally, the, more of this is coming in your future. You're going to hear me say that a lot in the UK, because guess what? We're just getting started, right? So we can't do everything at once. I also don't want you to get overloaded. But at the next events that we hold here in the UK, we're going to have some of the major brands here to teach you about their individual products. Um, we do have a guest presenter today. Anybody know who it is? Clea, yeah. that's right. The Cruise Lines International Association. And we'll be talking more about that in a minute. So they'll be talking to us about some product uh, for you. Sales and income. 
I want you to set goals for your travel business. Okay? Again, goals. People who set goals statistically succeed more than people who don't. This is understood, yes? Okay. So, those goals can be weekly or monthly. Um, they can be based on the number of sales or the amount in pounds that you want to sell on a weekly or monthly basis. Maybe it's one cruise every month or one holiday package every month. It's different for everybody. It depends on your time and whether or not you're doing this sort of in the cracks of your life or some of you are pursuing it full time, some of you are busy on the marketing side. I get all that. So not everybody is supposed to have the same goals, right? Okay, but you need to give it some thought what I want you to do is write them down, because here's another statistic. People who write their goals down are much more likely to reach them. Yes? Okay, good. Um, I want you to aim for that 80% commission share, although I have to welcome you all as charter agents here in the UK. And you do have uh, a special package of benefits, and one of them is that we've automatically given you the 80% commission share that all our other agents have to actually earn, right? And you have it through the end of the year. That means every pound that we get at IntelliTravel and Travel Commissions, you get 80 pence, right? 80p. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> um, Okay, so pretty easy, right? Otherwise, you would get 70%, and you would have to sell enough to earn about 4,000 pounds in commissions in any 12-month period in order to reach that 80%. But you don't have to do it. It ain't for you, right? So you get the 80%. Now, when it comes to the end of the year, though, we're going to reset and look at your sales. So this next six months, is your opportunity to set up your next year, okay? You want to get, and, and because you're at the 80% commission split, you're actually getting more commission, so that commission is going to add up faster, and at the end of the year, you reach 5,000, or uh, four, about 4,000 pounds, you'll have to do the exact conversion. It's 5,000 US. But you reach that amount in commissions at the end of the year, and you'll have the 80% split for a whole nother year. Right? And if you don't make it by December 31st, that's okay, because this is not a calendar thing. It's any 12-month period. So if it takes you two more months to get there, that's fine. You'll get there, and then you'll have 80% for a whole year after that. Okay? Understood? Yeah. Okay. So this is about setting your goals, making sure you get the most out of today as possible. We want you to pay your overhead. Right? We want to make sure that you're profitable. Now, it doesn't cost you very much to be an Intel Travel agent, to be affiliated with us. So to be honest with you, you sell a cruise and you sell a couple of holiday packages and you're whole for the year. You're profitable, yeah? yeah? Okay, so that's the goal. We want to make sure you're profitable because if you're profitable and if you have business partners, if they're profitable, right, they're going to stay. Yeah? yeah. Okay. So that's what profit's about. I want to take a moment to thank the sponsors who sponsor DreamMaker as a whole program. And these are the kinds of folks that will be with us in the future. Plus, we'll be adding lots more through CLIA. These are all the cruise lines here in the UK that are members of CLIA. And you start to see more like Thompson, Tui, uh, Scenic, uh, the French one I'm not going to try to pronounce. Uh, Ama, uh, yeah, Papa Loy, uh, you know, more brands that you recognize here in the UK, in addition to the big blockbuster worldwide brands. So um, all of these guys will be working very closely with us. Many of them are already. They'll be sponsoring events like this. So we just want to appreciate our partners, right? They, they make all this possible. Now, we did make arrangements for a huge box of IntelliTravel notebooks and IntelliTravel pens to be here, but um, Customs in the UK uh, looked at them and thought, well, these are so nice, they must be selling them. Okay? 
and they decided to uh, snatch him up. There are some people standing in the back. There are seats. If you sort of filter forward, you'll be able to find some seats throughout. If there's an empty seat near you, raise your hand, and these folks in the back can find a, a spot. Are these, these taken? We can give up a couple in the front row here, too. So, Federal Express tells us that it's possible this box will show up while we're here today, and if it does, we'll make arrangements to distribute all that stuff to you guys. There are more seats up front, three or four seats up here. Several down at the end up front, so come on in. We don't want you to stand, it's a long day. Okay. There's more down here. All right, and uh, all right, now I'm going to do my official welcome. I want to welcome our UK charter agents to Dreammaker Live. Woo! And with that, I want to bring back our director of training, Jessica Sinemer, who's going to help you get started off right as a travel agent. Thank you. So while James puts that up, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? <laughs> what am I feeling? I don't know. What am I feeling, y'all? So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really, really wanna be a travel agent. If you wanna be an agent, you gotta work with your friends. We can book together vacations, never end. Around you, if anyone, 
what are you, what do you smell? What do you taste? So is there champagne involved? There is five years from now with me, so I might be with you if you have a champagne. Do you taste anything? Do you, do you hear anything? What do you hear? What are the sounds around you? And then what are the thoughts that you're thinking to yourself, knowing that you have achieved that goal? What are you thinking to yourself? That, oh, that's right. I'm with this lady here. Yes, you. I am right there with you. See? Okay, you can open your eyes and come back to now. That's how you want to make your clients feel. You want them to envision themselves on that cruise, envision themselves on that holiday. You want to bring them there. So when they say, oh, I want to do a trip with their family, really, like, where do you want to be? Do like, you want the beach? Oh, yeah. And what is, the, what is the, what is it, like really blue water? Like, okay. And the kids are running around. But you really want them to put themselves there. Because once they put themselves there, then it's like they're already halfway there. Okay, so now you know where you want to be in five years. So how much time can you dedicate to your travel business, either daily, weekly, or monthly, to make that happen? Because many people have full-time jobs and they are fitting this in. But IntelliTravel makes it easy for you to learn while you earn. So maybe and if you have an hour lunch hour, you watch an Intelli tutorial. If you're driving somewhere, or if you're you know, taking transportation, you can listen to your earbuds, you can listen to a podcast or something that, that will be coming soon. So you can be learning, you can be watching our videos, you can be reading our training manual, we'll talk all about that. And then you can be making phone calls to your clients, you can be doing marketing on Facebook and all of the different ways you do marketing. So all of that can get done, but you've got to set some consistent time for that. It doesn't have to be consistent like every single day at 10 a.m. I am doing this because, you know, that can, but at least you say, I'm going to give this at least a half an hour a day, five days a week, or I'm going to give this two hours every weekend or whatever it is to you to grow to where you want to be five years from now. And then have some travel goals. How many cruises do you want to book? How many group cruises? What kind of holidays or hotels or others? And how much marketing do you want to do? So you want to think about all the different avenues for marketing. And social media is a great one. Having travel parties is a great one. So there's all different ways to market yourself. All right, so let's start with the basics here. You're going to log into IntelliTravel. And then starting July 1st, you're going to get your welcome letter, which is going to give you your PIN and password. And you're just going to put that in. It's going to take you into your back office. That's what your Welcome letters will look like it's going to have your PIN, your password, your IATA, and APTA, and CLIA as of July 1st. And then it has our information. Now, these are all of your agency identifiers. When you are booking travel, you must use these. That's how they know where to send the commission. If you go online to a website and there is nowhere to put your agency identifiers, you're booking as a consumer, and there's nothing we can do about that. So if you see no place to put an agency identifier to show them that you're a travel agent, you need to pick up the phone and say, do you work with travel agents? Okay? All right. So I'm going to give you some quick stip, quick, quick, quick start tips. Okay? But before I do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about really understanding the importance of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be teaching you business, and we're going to be teaching you travel. So how many of you went to business school? Anybody here went to business school? So a couple of you. Good. And how many of you went to travel agency school? Like, I don't know. Okay, so a couple of you did that too. Okay, but for the most part, you have not. So here's what it's like. So let's say, since I was a little girl, I had this dream to have a beauty salon. I used to cut my Barbie's hair, I used to cut my dog's hair, it looked fabulous. So it had been a dream. But as I grew up, that dream turned into like working in a customer service, answering phone calls every day, and one of those jobs, you know, that you come home and you're like, oh. And every day as I walk home, on my corner, right by my house, there's a salon, and I'm like, that woman's living my dream. She's living my dream. And one day, I had a really rough day at work, right? So now I'm walking home, and I just slept slouching, and all of a sudden I look at that, and I see Brent. And I look over, and it is so cheap. Like, she must be, like, running away from the government, okay? Because she needs to get out of there. 
And I go in and I sign the contract. I am so excited. I start decorating this place. The neighborhood is chattering. They are all looking through the windows. They can't wait for this place to open because it looks fabulous. It's everything I've been dreaming about since I was a little girl. Now, I didn't go to beauty school or business school, but I have a passion for hair. So, it's the day before we're about to open. I realized, oh my goodness, I need scissors. So I run to Staples because they have the pretty cute, you know, they have like the cute ones with the different colors and I can put them at the different stations, right? And there's a line across for opening day. And the first woman comes in, sits down. She's like, I have been waiting for this. She sits down and I take out my staple scissors and she's like, you know what? I'm not sure if I put money in the meter. And she goes running out, she goes, run, staple scissors, run. <laughs> so here's an instance, like how many of you are passionate about selling travel, right? So now we need the business basics and we need the travel basics to get us really going. And that's the foundation that we're gonna give you right now. So with these quick start guide, uh, quick start tips. The first one is the quick start guide. And it's going to give you some ideas of things that you can do to get started. Getting business cards, working on your website, uh, reading the training manual, which we'll talk about in a moment, doing home-based travel things, and all kinds, oh, joining Clio, all these great things. Number two is the training manual. And it's not very long, so I advise you to print it out. It comes with a table of contents. So you can get to whatever you need to get to, but carry it around with you because this is something you can read while you're waiting in line, while you're at a school event for your child or grandchild, whatever it is. But I like to think of it as a lead generator. And you're probably going, what? Lead generator? My, my, my manual? Well, you know, like you go online and you know, you're, you're waiting at the grocery store, and you're looking at the rag papers, and you're like, what's Ginger Spice doing 20 years later? <laughs> that's what everyone's looking at, right? You know, what's happening with the royal family? Well, instead, you're looking at your manual, and what do people do? They look they kind of like, you know, nosy by nature, but in the best way. So they're looking over your shoulder and say, what is she, he reading? And you just turn around and you catch with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm a travel agent, I'm just looking something up for a client. And they hear travel, and that's always interesting to people. And they're like, oh, you're a travel agent. And then you start a conversation. Now, you don't like immediately hand them your card, yes, and if you need travel, here I am. <laughs> Instead, like you say, oh, you know, do you travel? And you start like a quick conversation while the next person in front of you is like fumbling around to like find their money because they oh, bought too much stuff. And in the meantime, you say, well, are you on Facebook? We should connect. Okay, so you start there, you start with the connection. So it's a fun way, plus you get to learn stuff. Okay, number three is our education department. So who's that guy? He's so <laughs> handsome, where do we him? Okay, this is your IntelliTravel University. How many of you have been through it already? Wow, you are putting the U.S. to shame. That's <laughs> <laughs> it up. Okay. So, you've probably seen me before. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put on my best card that day. <laughs> you probably didn't notice that, but now you will every time you watch it. Okay, so, watch, go through these. This is, you know, once you've been through them, you'll know both the training side as far as travel and you'll get a good feel for the business side as well. All right. We also have our Intel tutorial video library, which you know we have things in there now that sometimes apply to you guys, but we're gonna have a lot more coming up that will apply to you. They look like this, and they help you to distinguish yourself as an expert in something. Now, you become an expert in something because you say you're an expert in something, okay? You decide when you're an expert. Okay, that means that let's say you want to do adventure travel, or let's say you want to do couples and adults only. You watch a couple of Intel tutorials, feel confident that you can sell it, and then you can put it up there. I'm an adventure expert. Now, human nature will see, oh, they're an adventure expert, and a couple's adults, but I really want family travel. Never mind, they're not right for me. No, 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 no. Human nature will say, well, I see you do adventure and couples and adults only. Do you also do family? And then you're like, of course. And you, I'll call you back in an hour. And then you watch the Intel tutorials. <laughs> Facebook when you're marketing yourself. 
And the other way to do it is that you can start by supplier. We'll have you know special supplier webinars for you all. We'll be learning from them, and you'll be able to become an expert in that. All right. We have our partner education. So these are some of our affiliations, and they all also have educational programs. Now, all of our educational programs are free. Some of these have costs attached, so you'll have to check that out. And then they all, these are all free. These are our supplier education. So like you can do college, Disney College of Knowledge and Marriott's Hotel of Excellence. And there'll be ones you know, that apply to some of the newer ones that you'll have here as well. So basically what I tell people to do, um, in a moment I'm gonna show you our preferred partner directory. And you start there and you kind of look at, well let's see, which partners am I actually interested in? And think that my people will be interested in it as well. Then once you do that, then you watch some Intel tutorials and compare them. Once you compare them, then you can decide who do I want to specialize in. You can really go through their training and learn. And so that's how you would do that. And then finally, step four are FAQs, or what we now call knowledge base. Knowledge base is the Google of your back office. This is important. Because yes, you're going to be able to call customer service, you're going to be able to chat with customer service, you're going to be able to email customer service. But here's the thing, you all, by the way, are CEOs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with this one in my hand, but this one, all day long. Okay. <laughs> so you are all CEOs of your company. Which means you want to feel empowered that you can do this anytime, anywhere, and you don't need to depend on us. So what we have done was we put it in a way that like, if you have a question about commissions, you literally punch in C-O-M-M -M and all of a sudden every question about commissions comes up. So if you're sitting there you know, at a baseball game and someone says, oh, you know, it sounds really interesting being a, a travel agent, but how exactly do I get paid commission? Well, that's a great question. Yeah. Well, um, put that up and you say, oh, you do blah, blah, blah. You can read it exactly from there if you want to say, or you can use it as a, as a teaching tool. Say, well, let me show you how easy it is with my company. You just put in C-O-M-M -M and look, it answers your question right there. So you can you know, use that to market them. Okay, now we're gonna do a virtual office back tour. Now my advice to you is that you do your virtual office back tour every month for at least six months. And I tell you why. How many of you drive a car? How many of you drive on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> I'm just saying, because I've been wondering what's going on here. So for those of you who don't, Basically, what we do when we start to drive a car is we concentrate on the gas and the brake, and the gas and the brake, and the rear view side, and the rear view side, the gas brake, and we are like clutching for dear life on that. Very good. Okay, but eventually, it becomes unconscious competence. You can be driving, you can be sipping your soda, you can be talking on your Bluetooth, you don't make me come back there. You can, I mean, you can do it all. And now you can be thinking about those gas pedals. And then one day, you look down at your steering wheel, and there's cruise control. And you're like, what's that? <laughs> and then when you figure out driving has never been the same. <laughs> it took me 40 plus years. My best one's like, what? How do you not know what cruise control is? You drive three hours up here to see me like every other month. Okay, so that's the same thing with this. There's always going to be new things, first of all, that we're going to be showing you. But when you go through your back office for the first time, certain things are going to jump out at you. Those are the things that are important to you now. But then you're going to be using that regularly. It's going to be part of your, you know, working as your business. And the next time you go in there, you're going to be like, what's this? I didn't see this before. It was there. It just wasn't timely for you at the moment. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on each one of these links. You don't have to read everything. Just click on the link so you know what's there. So this is your dashboard. You want to scroll all the way down until you see the gray because some of them are really long pages. So we'll have deal of the weeks, hot deals, calendar events, different links. Then you're going to go to book travel. We've got hotels, flights, cars, cruises, vacations, preferred partners, register outside bookings, and hot deals. I said that all in one breath. <laughs> okay, so you're going to click through each one of those and just see what they have to offer, and then maybe you stick on like vacations. Now here's something I want to show you. Go-go vacations or fun jet vacations. This is your 
back office, when you book in your back office, it's automatically registered. We automatically know that we are paying you, this goes to you. But sometimes when you go to like vacations and you click learn more, <coughs> do you see that URL, go, go, w, w, go, go, something, dot com. Oh, go, go, www, there we go. <laughs> okay, made it a little bigger for me, thank you. Okay, so, does anybody see IntelliTravel's name in that URL? You have left the back office. And that's okay, because as travel agents, you can book anywhere they accept your agency identifiers. So you can certainly book off, but when you do, you must remember to register your booking in your back office, because it's the only way we know that booking belongs to you. Carnival Cruises is infamous for sending us a whole list of bookings John did this one. Michelle did this one. How many Johns do we have in the room? Any, how many Davids? Any Davids in the room? Oh, okay, so you guys are going to be fighting it out. <laughs> because it, ooh, they don't give us a last name. I don't know why. So it's, you know, we have the commission for you. We just don't know what belongs to you until you call and say, hey, where's my carnival commission? So it just makes you get it on time when you register your booking. Okay, so, and it's very simple. You put in the booking confirmation, the primary name, anything that has those little stars. And it takes literally two minutes. I've done it myself. If I could do it, you could do it. Okay, that was so cheesy. <laughs> but I got a laugh, okay. Okay, so here is your virtual um, the, uh, PDF. I advise you to download this, but not necessarily print it out, because it's long and it's color and the printer, you know. But you can download it to your, your tablet or your phone or your desktop or laptop. And we're going to be adding UK specifics soon. But the reason why we always tell you to start with the preferred partners are because they are the ones who we've vetted. We've been working with them for 25 years, some less, some as long. And they give you the best commissions, training, marketing resources, and support, and they offer your clients the best prices, more than 30 days out, because then you would have missed a month, so you can't do that. Or maybe, oh, what? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is your newsletter. Oh, this is your website. See? It's in both places, you should see. Um, this is your website. So you put up a nice photo with a smile because people like to work with happy people. And you can put up a slogan and you can create an agency name for yourself. And the changes take a few days, 48 hours for review. Okay, so now I'm gonna just quickly go through some things to make you truly, truly competitive. First thing, business cards. May sound like something that you know, oh well I've got a smartphone, we can just click that together, boom, okay, we're connected. No. We want people to give you business cards because then you can write notes on them and keep information. Plus it makes you look more professional. And you can get a couple of other things, like maybe you get an Intel Travel mug and you give it to your kid's school teacher and you fill it with some stuff. And she drinks from that mug every day. She's like, Boy, I need a vacation, these kids, oh boy, I need a vacation. And all of a sudden she's like, Oh, wait a minute, I have a travel agent. So keep in front of that. Okay, so these are all the different types of things you can get. Oh, there's the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a long time ago. But I think I got it. Okay, so this is your client newsletter. It's in your back office and you can create your own. I advise you to keep it personal. Say like, oh, my son just graduated from college. We're so proud we're sending him to Club Men. Where's a good club head out here? Which one? Extapa in Mexico. Okay, so we're sending him to Extapa in Mexico and, you know, just a couple other things. Hello, Boingo. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Love that Boingo. Okay, so then you can add some hot deals. Now, here's the thing you can add 500 hot deals, right? But a confused mind doesn't buy. So only put three per newsletter. And then what you do is you tie it into different Mexican trips. Because you're going to Mexico Estopo, it kind of makes them think. Again, if they see Mexico and they want to go to Alaska, they'll say, oh, by the way, do you go to Alaska? Oh, sure I do. I'll call you in an hour. I'll take you to Alaska. <laughs> Which of my pictures go to Alaska? 
Okay, now we also have these awesome postcards because you know you want to touch your clients about you know seven to twelve times before they really take it seriously that you are officially a travel agent. So we give you these great things. So maybe you bump into someone at the grocery store and you or in the loo and you say, it was so wonderful seeing you in the loo today. <laughs> That's a hotel, right? <laughs> uh, and then, but it just so happens to be on a message from your hotel travel agent. So it can be a regular you know, note, but just on one of these cool things. You have your customer information form, which gives you all kinds of information on your customer. You want them to fill this out, because the more you know about them, the better you're going to be able to serve them. And then we have the credit card authorization form. How many of you think it's okay to take money to PayPal or take cash and help people out? Oh man, you all. London's in a rock this. UK, I should say, because it's more than just, okay. So yeah, make sure that you have a credit card authorization form. We never take money, cash, checks. We don't take credit cards to our own company names or anything. To stay compliant with Intel Travel, you must take it straight from your client to the vendors. Okay, coming soon, we're going to be having a travel insurance company for you. And you always want them to sign a waiver. Now here's a little trick. I have a minute or so left and I'm just about done. Always, do you guys have like Best Buy out here? Like something like where you can buy big electronics and things like that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And do you ever like buy like a big TV and then at the end they're like, do you want to add on $300 in insurance on that? And you're like, I don't even want to pay the $1,200 on am paying right now. <laughs> so we never add on travel insurance after we put it in the original quote. So this way they just say, okay, the whole thing is $2,000. And they wrap their mind about that. But then if they go through it and say, well, what is this travel agent? What is this travel insurance? You can explain it to them because there'll be a webinar on it. And then if they say, well, I still think I'm ready to risk it. Say, okay, well, then I'm going to just send this waiver. And what happens when you get a waiver? It suddenly seems a little more important, right? <laughs> because it is important. It helps them. It, it protects you. So you get them to sign that they still say no. And this way, in 10 months, if you have them, you know, they lose their job. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't go. And say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You didn't get travel insurance. You didn't tell me about travel insurance. Yes, they did. All right, so that's important to have. All right.